Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Guess what? The day has come. You guys have been dying for this one. Sorry. I was... Wife's got a big old <laughs> jug of sweet tea. Or water. It's water. It's water. Gotta get your water in, everybody. Hydrate. Everybody hydrate. hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm Tom Tuffet. I'm joined by my wife, Sarah. Hello. We are going to finally check out Mr. Marco doing the song Voice of My Father. How do you say his last name? I, I'm i going to assume it's Haitala. Mm, Complete okay. guess. I, I don't know. It's just English language tells me that's probably Haitala. Okay. Probably wrong because I suck at <laughs> I just like to hear European people. names very badly. But uh, this has been easily one of the most highly requested songs. Uh, I've listened to quite a bit of Marco outside of just, uh, well, not quite a bit, but a few songs outside of Nightwish uh, with Marco in it and him doing uh, High Hopes. Uh, the tribute to uh, Pink Floyd was absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I'm not a huge Pink Floyd fan because I'm very unfamiliar with their music. I know a couple songs from them, uh, but it wasn't really my kind of style growing up. Uh, but I appreciate the hell out of that song. It was extremely emotional and just beautifully done. His voice, Marco, is just... He's got a lot of different layers to him, similar to Floor. Like when I speak about versatility, he's like the male version of that for me. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I just love what he does. Uh, he can growl. He can sing clean. He's he's, he's the whole package. Um, and he looks freaking badass. <laughs> Let's first put that out there. Uh, but yes, I'm, I've been stoked to check this one out for a while. Uh, and it's been on my list at the top. And well, so, is this like, like, does he have like his own album out? Like, I apart from I Nightwish? think this is like, well, he was in a he's I don't know if he still is, but he was in a band called Taro. Okay, I haven't heard anything from them yet, yet, guys, and we will get to them, I promise. Uh, but I think this is a solo project that he did. I'm guessing you guys will have to let me know. Um, mm -hmm. And I think this is a song that he specifically wrote from. I tried finding the meaning behind the song, and I couldn't find anything. So we're going in blind, but I didn't see anything about this being a cover or a tribute. I think this is his own song, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just going to assume that. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see what we're about to dive into. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate to get you guys the support. And also, we do have a Patreon if you want to check it out. It's in the description below. There you go. Uh, help support me and that really this fast. wonderful lady and our four kids and just helps keep growing this amazing, amazing community we have here on YouTube. So big thank you to you guys and a big, even bigger shout out to uh, our current patrons. Thank you so much for your generosity. Yes, thank you. Have a gander. Check it out. And let's continue with the video. Marco, voice of my father. Here we go. Kind of interesting side of Marco. I'm either used to him growling in Nightwish songs, or I'm used to him uh, kind of doing harmony with Floor. Uh, and there's times when he kind of gets to go off and do his own thing in a Nightwish song. Uh, but this is like really, this is very clean, very clean, just, yeah, <laughs> very clean. Uh, 
God, he just has such a good voice. Like we I've said it before specifically, like I feel like he well, I mean, he had his band Taro, and obviously now this is a solo project, I assume. So yeah, I mean, it it adds a credibility of me stating before I knew about this that yeah, he could be his own being as far as in the music industry, and he is apparently. Uh he just got such a great voice and don't get me wrong. I love when the guy growls and I'm not a huge growl fan, but I love when he does it. But, uh, and you were worried that there wasn't going to be words here and there is. So that's good. Yeah. Just sometimes I think I'm slight hard of hearing and just sometimes it's hard for me to like understand what people are saying, unless they have like super, super clear diction. I can actually understand what he's saying even without words, but actually I I'm that person that doesn't mind having captions all the time, <laughs> even during TV shows. But so far, really, really nice song. Slow. was I kind of figured this was going to be a little bit more rocky. Uh, but who knows? Maybe this is still basically like the maybe intro to the song. Maybe it's going to, yeah, I maybe don't know. it's going to build up. Who knows? Is here in me. The doors of heaven. I really wish I would have been able to find the meaning of this song specifically. I have a general idea, but I don't want to be wrong about it. Uh, I think you might have a general idea as well, what the song's about. Maybe. Maybe I don't know. I'm having I'm yeah. forming my own opinions. I'm just trying. To... I know this is. I know this is probably one of those songs where you know, big fans of either Mark or just Nightwish in general will be very uh, critical. Um, as far as what us as the reactor would say. So I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I appreciate the music and I appreciate his incredible talented voice. And I, I love it. I, I do love this song. I think it's really well done. It's beautiful. It's like you said, it's very mm-hmm. easy to uh, understand him. Like, cause obviously there's a language barrier that's not their native uh, language, but I mean, it's very easy to understand for me, but yeah, so far I think it's a very beautiful song. Yeah, for me I'm just I'm just it's unexpected for me. I didn't expect um I guess this tone yeah and style through this song just because in yeah, with hearing Nightwish and everything, I wasn't sure where it was going to go. Yeah, I, I I wish like I appreciate the words on here. I just kind of wish like it would, you know, every now and then kind of focus i know i want to see the people because yeah, yeah. he's, he's rocking his double neck guitar and i love that thing i saw yeah it well this is the official this is the official lyric video is what it actually oh, says oops so sorry I mean, guys i don't know if there was a better video i this one just had a ton of views so i, I just noticed that right now that yep. it says that so oops. that is why might but. be a small mistake but i mean either way at least we have words to go with it yeah. but i know what marco looks like he's he, he looks gorgeous okay that's all i gotta say <laughs> <laughs> but beautiful song the voice of my father 
Oh, yeah. Hi there. It's the voice I sing with too. The voice of my father. Sing my son and I'll be with you. The voice of my father. From fathers of history. The voice of my father. That's all I wanted. I got what I I got what I needed from that song. Did you get it? Yeah, I mean it was just like enough there at the end. For... You, so you had one. You had one too. N- no. No not, what? Not like you. I'm just saying it was enough at the end to where it was like okay, that's what I was kind of hoping would happen. Just a little it's bit. A, of you don't have to be shy, and... Sarah. Yes, I'm your husband, and you know. No, I did not have. What you're going to say that you had? Oh, Marco Gasm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I did appreciate though his his switching up to kind of more of the head breathy voice, and then it like, I, yeah, that was then amazing. it came down back into his chest voice, and that sounded really nice. Um, yeah, I guess I just was not expecting. I was expecting more hardcore, um, a more hardcore tone from him, but this was a nice. A nice surprise. It was just... Yeah. Yeah. I'm still just... I think... I want to know what the meaning of this is, of course. Just because, yeah, it has me questioning, like... Are you talking about your physical, like, biological father? Are you talking about, like... Or just spiritual father? Like, you know what I mean? I'm just... Anyway. I don't want to overanalyze it. Just listening to the music and the vocals and and it sounded good. Yeah. So that's your guys' job is to let us know if you know what this song is specifically about. And I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the right thing. Everyone has their own way of interpreting uh, a song or just music in general, but I'm sure there's a general uh, understanding for what the song is supposed to be about. Um, So I'm just kind of curious about it. But like I said, I did not want to express it because I don't want to be wrong or just way off because I have been completely way off on other reactions. So I kind of want to avoid it because this guy, I don't want to make a mistake with him specifically because he's just an incredible talent and he deserves nothing but the best. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm Tom Tough Nuts. This is Sarah. Thank you so much for watching this. If you made it all the way through, I'm so glad we finally got to this one and there's going to be so much more coming your way that I promise you, such as the greatest show on earth, which is going to happen very soon. Oh, that I promise as well. Wink. Oh, yeah, I can wink, honey. Yeah, <laughs> I'm proud. I'm a big deal. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Feel free to like and subscribe. Always appreciate it. And come back every day because we do upload daily here. And it is what I do. He works hard, everybody. Such a hardworking, hardworking young man you are. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> my head's inflating. Uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, take care. Be safe. Have a great night. And I will catch you at the next reaction. Bye.